Hello everyone, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. So today's topic is the probability using the, the standard normal distribution. So you know the meaning of the, the standard normal distribution, right? So whenever we collect data and then analyze it, that's becoming like a normal distribution case because you have unique data set. Now we want to input those unit data set into the, the standard set. Basically, we are we converting x value to the standard normal distribution value, which, which indicate as a z-score. That's what this means. Okay? So today, we are, we are going to just find out a probability value using the, the standard normal distribution. In other words, practice reading z-table. And then find out each probability value. Okay? Okay. So, before we actually solve this problem, let's make sure one point. Whenever you read any z score, so like a 1.45, then you will get some answer that represent is left hand side the probability area value. So, it indicates, so whatever you get that, so from the left tail value to until 1.5 uh, cumulative area value. That's what this means. Okay? So you have to make sure you understand this point. Otherwise, it can be a little bit confused. So like B and C, uh, our approach may be a little bit different because now it shows that Z is greater than 0.95, which means it represents right hand side now c case it shows that between these two z score so it can be a little bit different so we will cover uh like as a detail so please watch this this video uh carefully also until the end okay so let's begin to practice this problem so a probability z is less than 1.45 okay so then now we are using uh excel commander so equal to norm first, then among the old norms, then you will see norm dot s and distribution. That represent the standard normal distribution. So double click that. And now you put the z score, which is 1.45 in this case. So 1.45 and comma. Then now we want to find out the cumulative data, so true, so collect, collect that, and close the parenthesis and enter. Then that's the answer for this problem because it already uh, represent 0.9247 uh, described basically uh, left hand side area value, and then it actually ask left hand side area value. So now the second part here. So uh, we are first we are doing norm and same thing norm s distribution and click 0.95 comma cumulative true okay close that enter all right then you got the 0.82894 but uh, again this is the left hand side the probability area value but we want to find out the right hand side, right? Okay, so you have to make this is equal to 1 minus this value. Okay, so 0 0.17106 that describes the right hand side area value basically because the total area value must be equal to 1 because it is part of the probability. Okay, now C. C case, I'm going to move to uh, whiteboard for a second and then just uh, draw the graph and then just discuss more. Okay, so please give me a second. So when I drew the graph for this case, then based on center value 0, negative 1.96 maybe uh, located around here so this is the negative 1.96 and then 1.28 will be right hand side from the zero here 
So maybe above here, this 1.28. Okay. Now, you read negative 1.96, then you will get this area value. Makes sense, right? Because the z-score always gives us or provides the left-hand side area value. Now 1.28, then you will get include this tiny area or this until here. So do you see what happened here? So this purple area value also include this orange area value as well. So finding between here, it means you just subtract uh, 1.28 probability value minus negative 1.96 area value. Then we can find it. Okay, so this we want to do it using Excel as well. So give me a second. We will go back to Excel again. Ta da! Now we are on Excel again. Okay, so uh, as I told you, we are going to subtract um, probability of 1.28 minus the probability of negative 1.96. Okay, so let's find out uh, two probability value first. So uh, 1.961. And 1.28. Okay, so this is equal to norm. So we are selecting norm as distribution, and the 1. Point, oh, sorry, negative 1.96. I forgot negative sign. Sorry. So I'm gonna fix that first, and we keep doing it. So okay, now equal to norm and then s distribution and negative 1.96 comma the cumulative to okay enter then now this one norm same thing norm dot s dot distribution and then click 1.28 comma the true cumulative true and then enter like that so, as I told you, we're going to subtract from uh, 1.28 area value minus negative 1.96 area value. So, this is equal to this value minus this similar value. Then, there will be the answer for this case. Okay? Now, so, we have a, a little bit different way to set up, which means... Uh, instead, we find each probability and then get the answer. We maybe set up just the Excel algorithm as a once, and then so you can get the answer uh, one try. Okay, so I'm gonna make a highlight so that uh, it can be a little bit different uh, cases here. So now, so greater means after we will get the answer, you are subtracting the case, right? So I'm going to say equal to 1 minus norm and as the distribution and click uh, 0 0.95, 0 0.95 and the comma, the cumulative true and enter. Then you see this answer is the same as this answer, right? So that's the another way to set up the right hand side of uh, the probability area value. Okay, so this two just uh, equal to now you're going to subtract from 1.28 probability area minus negative 1.96 uh, probability area so norm as distribution and 1.28 comma true close that minus norm as distribution and negative 1.96 comma true enter then you see uh, we got the exactly same answer so I can make uh, those two are maybe different color so you can see that we can also compare together here so Yeah, now look here. So this algorithm is we uh, 1 minus 
this norm, norm, uh, standard normal distribution. And in this case, we are making a uh, right side z score probability area, the algorithm, minus the left hand side uh, normal, uh, standard normal distribution uh, probability algorithm. Then we can get the answer right away. And then the outcome will be exactly the same. It's awesome, right? Okay, so I hope this video helped you how to find the z score using access spreadsheet. And then I'm going to see you again with a different video. Okay, thank you. Bye.